Hey guys, welcome back to Team Deathslinger. My name is Peter, and today we're looking at EX7 Chaos Gallantmon. The deck has gone kind of in a different direction since the last set. Uh, we are no longer going super, super aggressive and trying to kill with the ace. Uh, we are now going to try and slow the game down, stall a little bit, and then ace when it's time to win the game. So our new egg of choice is going to be BT6 Sunomon. Uh, your turn, when you trash a card in your hand using one of your effects, you're going to draw one card. Uh, this is going to help us find our protoforms. That's why we have Swap from Gijimon. Uh, the 2k DP was really, really nice, but this is kind of more important to make sure that our deck stays efficient and fast. And we have four copies of the Ignite Mon for BT11. Uh, the Inheritable is the important part here. When you play a Digimon by an effect, you will gain a memory. That's going to help us get into our level fives really efficiently uh, to make sure that we can hit our six uh, as quickly as possible to compensate for it costing four memory. Three copies of BT5 Gilmon on deletion. If this card was deleted by an effect, gain one memory. But we do have Alice, so this is a great Alice target. Uh, Chaos Gallimon will pop one of our level three Digimon. Uh, well, I guess just one of our Digimon. But this is a great target for that as well. It's going to make sure that we gain a memory uh, and kind of recoup some of that extra cost on the Chaos Gallimon. You can go down from three on this. You can go one Psychmon, uh, one of the Sukaimons, uh, kind of whatever you feel like fits that last slot. I don't really recommend the EX3 Gilmon because we don't have Gijimon anymore. It does cost one to Evo, which does not feel great. Then we have four copies of EX5 Labramon. On play by trashing one card in your hand, you return a Dark Animal or Shaman. Kind of sort of matters because you can grab back uh, the Dobermon or the Black Automon. But more importantly, the Inheritable will gain us a memory when we play Digimon by an effect. Then we have four copies of Dobermon X. Uh, when digivolving, you're going to get to draw one trash one, and then if you have X antibody in your sources, you activate the on play, which gives this uh, gives one of your Digimon retaliate, and the inheritable will gain you a memory back when you play a Digimon by an effect. Uh, this is a great piece for our egg as well. Uh, you trash a card, draw a card, Sunomon triggers, you draw an extra card, uh, helps you find your proto form uh, as fast as you can. Then we are switching from the BT5 Black Graumon to the EX7 Black Gautomon. Uh, when digivolving and on deletion, you get to trash a card in your hand. One of your one of your Digimon gains block and retaliation until the end of your opponent's turn. Uh, trashing a card in your hand is fantastic because it triggers a Sunomon egg. Again, it helps you find pieces. Uh, more importantly than that too, though, you can trash the rookies to set up for the Bastemon, uh, which is really important if you don't see the X antibody for your Lady Devimon. The Inheritable also says when an opponent's Digimon attacks by deleting one of your other Digimon, you can end the attack. And that's great uh, because we can be a little bit selective about what attacks get through on our opponent's side uh, and make sure that we're kind of stalling out for long enough to see all of our pieces, uh, get the trash built up, and get uh, Crimson Mode on the board to hit some big checks. Then we have our one copy of EX4 Black Realmon. Uh, you really want this to grab back your Crimson Mode Aces when you mill over them. But we have lots of ways to play Gilmon back for free, so ideally you would be Evoing this for two on top of your Gilmon. Um, if you really, really, really have to, you can Evo this on top of one of your other level four, uh, level three Digimon. But, I mean, obviously you're trying not to do that. Uh, for our level fives, we have one copy of Myotismon Ace. Uh, this is a Blast Evo with Blocker, which is super fantastic. And then on play when Digivolving, play a level three Digimon or one Purple Tamer from your trash without paying the cost. The reason we have a Blast Ace Myotismon now is because we have two level fives that will play us a level 4 or lower from our trash when an opponent's Digimon is deleted on their turn. So now instead of it just being on Bastemon and being a little bit inconsistent, uh, if you Crimson Mode Ace on the opponent's turn, you pop one of their Digimon, you play a level 4 for free. If they have more gas and they can still swing and the Crimson Mode did not save you, you can then Ace on top of that level 4 uh, with the Myotismon. Myotismon will either play out your Alice or level 3, depends on what you need, obviously. Uh, but you get a blocker on board that could potentially save you uh, from losing the game if uh, it must. Then we have the three copies of the aforementioned Bastemon. It has Scapegoat, which makes it a really safe level 5, just kind of leave out on board. Uh, and when Digivolving, you play a level 3 purple Digimon card from Trash without paying the cost. Great effect for us to set up the Alices. Uh, gains us two memory back in a perfect world off our Dober and Ignite, uh, or at least one off of our Rookie. Uh, the opponent's turn, Inheritable, is what we just talked about. It plays you a level 4 for free. Uh, and then we have Lady Debimon X Antibody. This is the new uh, level 5 we're playing instead of Black Raumon. On play, and when Digivolving, one of your opponent's Digimon gains end of attack, delete this Digimon. Fantastic way to stop your opponent from getting uh, damage in. It ties into that stall idea really well. And then if Lady Devimon, which you won't have, or X Antibody is in your Digivolution cards, you get to play a Vole and Zerdrucken token. It's a level 4 purple token with 5,000 DP, but it has Blocker and Retaliate, which is really important. Um, and this will also trigger a memory gain Inheritables. Uh, with Protoform, this can cost 0 to Evo into. Uh, it should cost at most one, unless you have a really, really bad stack of like Gilmon and Black Gautamon, which hurts pretty bad. But it, it 
at worst should cost two if you have X antibody in your sources. Uh, the Inheritable doubles up on that fast Digimon effect. When you delete an opponent's Digimon on their turn, you're going to get to play a level four or lower Digimon card from trash without playing the cost. Uh, this is also great because since we are using Black Automon to ideally stop attacks that we don't want to hit security, you should be able to manipulate your opponent into only being able to check security with smaller bodies. Uh, and if they swing and they die, you're still going to get to trigger this because an opponent's Digimon was deleted. You get the free level four. Now you're threatening my Otismon Ace. Uh, and you can actually steal a memory with the Ignite Mon Inheritable as well. So this and the Bastimon are kind of a really strong level five package to allow us to uh, kind of dictate the pace of the game and threaten to get a lot of bodies on the board. For our level sixes, we have four copies of BT5 Chaos Gallimon. When Digivolving, you can delete one of your other Digimon to delete one of your opponent's level five or lower Digimon. Uh, this with the new Lady Devimon X actually doesn't feel bad at all because if you whiff on popping the level five or lower, it probably has the Lady Devimon effect that makes it die at the end of attack, so they're not swinging anyways, and you don't really feel like you wasted uh, your level six anymore. Uh, and you're also still threatening the Crimson Mode Ace with the Lady Devimon and Heritable underneath. Uh, this is just, it doesn't feel bad anymore. Uh, your turn, when one of your other Digimon is deleted, you can play one level three purple Digimon card from your trash without paying its memory cost. No on plays activate. Uh, so when you Evo into this, if you pop a level five or lower, uh, you get to play back the rookie you used uh, to delete itself. The downside is that you cannot trigger this on your opponent's turn. So if they swing and you sack a Digimon with the Black Automon effect, you do not get to replay a level three Digimon, which is really unfortunate. We have one copy of the EX2 Megidramon now. We did go down on our level sixes. I would Deck space is just really tight now that we need to fit the protoforms. Uh, you could go up to uh, two on this if you drop an Alice, I think. Um, but uh, this was the trade-off I decided I wanted to make. When Digivolving, you delete something with 10k DP or less. If nothing was deleted, mill top five cards of both players' deck. Uh, not a bad effect. It's going to put cards in trash for the Crimson Mode Ace. And then on deletion, you can play one Gilmon and a Takato from Hand or Trash without paying the memory cost. We still don't have a Takato that we're playing. Um, but we won't complain about getting a free Gilmon. You also don't super, super need to... I guess worry about the low quantity of this Digimon in your deck. We built stacks really fast. We do draw a lot of cards. You will probably see this at some point. Uh, and if you really need to mill the cards, you will probably get the opportunity to Digivolve into this uh, because we are extremely memory efficient. Uh, we then have one copy of the EX4 Chaos Gallantmon. Uh, end of your turn from trash. You can delete one of your Digimon with Digivolution cards and Gallantmon in its name to play this card without paying the cost. On play, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 7k DP or less. For every 10 cards in both players' trash, add 2k to the maximum DP you can choose. Uh, so there needs to be 20 cards in both players' trash for you to hit uh, the lower end of level 6s. Uh, but I really like this card more as a board breaker than anything else. If your opponent's in an awkward spot, you hit your stack, and they're just kind of sitting there with a low DP body that they're hoping to Evo onto, and you don't have a way to delete it in the first place. Or if they've gone really wide, and you've started trimming the board with Chaos Gallantmon, Mechidramon, uh, and then they've just got something left, and you don't want to let them play with it, just pop your stack, go into the Chaos Gallantmon, clear their board, uh, if you get the analog youths in play, you're just going to get memory back off of it. And this can still threaten the Crimson Mode Ace, so it's perfectly fine to just leave this on board if you have to. Speaking of Crimson Mode Ace, we have two copies of it now. We are down from three on play and when Digivolving. Delete up to 15,000 DP worth of your opponent's Digimon, uh, which is a fantastic effect. Your opponent swings, you want to throw this down on top of your Chaos Gallantmon or Megidramon. Uh, and then you're going to trigger your Bastemon or your Lady Devimon. For every 10 cards in both players' trashes, trash the top card of your opponent's security uh, stack once per turn on attack. Um, so ideally, in a perfect world, this is your finisher. You're going to swing and trash a bunch of security uh, and then win the game. Then we have two copies of Miss Memory Boost. We still do need level threes in trash, and we still do benefit from building trash. I understand you can possibly mill over your protoforms. Uh, that is a risk that I felt like uh, was worth trade-off to make our top end stronger. Uh, you're going to trash two cards, draw one, and then delay, you're going to gain two memory back. If this really, really bothers you, you can go Purple Memory Boost. That does have its own trade-offs, though. Uh, purple Memory Boost is going to dig you four, and you still can't grab Protoform. Uh, and I feel like that overall, that does just increase your odds of milling over the Protoform, uh, and you don't want that. So I'm happy with my two Miss Memory Boosts. Then I have four Wisdom Trainings. Uh, this is just your mandatory search package for a purple deck. Uh, you can't grab Crimson Mode off of this, which does suck. Uh, I'm very sorry, but that's the way it is. Three copies of X-Antibody Protoform. Uh, again, cracked card. Uh, one of your Digimon without X-Antibody in its Digivolution cards can Digivolve into a Digimon with the X-Antibody trait from your hand with the cost reduced by one. So we can go from Dober X or Black Automon into Lady Devimon for two instead of three. Then this goes bottom. And then when this Digimon would leave the battle area other than by one of your effects, from this Digimon's Digivolution cards, return one Digimon card to the hand and place X-Antibody on top of your security stack. Uh, so... Now, if your stack dies, uh, you can put this on top of your security um, and then grab a piece back to rebuild your stack efficiently. So that's a really, really nice effect, and it gives you some longevity. 
uh, three copies of Alice just because the free Evo is really fantastic. Um, you're not super, super pressed to play this anymore because you are so, so memory efficient with that protoform, um, but it is a valid target for the Myotismon. I feel like you could go down to two on this card if you really want to, uh, and then bolster up your level six count or your level four count if it really bothers you that you're only running nine, uh, but I'm on three and it feels okay. Then we have three copies of Analog Youth. We want to build trash. Uh, we need to grab our Crimson Mode Aces, so that's what this is for. Also, when a level five or higher Digimon with sources is deleted, you get to suspend this Tamer, gain a memory, hatch an egg. That just feels really nice with the EX4 Chaos Gallimon. Uh, so we're never going to complain about seeing this card. So that is it for my EX7 uh, Chaos Gallimon deck profile. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Uh, how do you feel about the Lady Devimon engine? Kind of going into a lot of my purple decks right now. Um, that's all I got. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.